All right, in this video, we're going to cover something called, I actually don't know what it's called, but it's basically like almost like a heat map, but we're using bubbles instead, All right? So it's a slight change, gives it uh, gives the information slightly differently. So let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to build something like, let's see, let's see, let's see. I actually want to do something similar to what I did the other day. So let me do a weekday like this. I want to bring year. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm building a calendar, right? So I'm going to go here by month. So I do have a video on that if you want to check it out. And then we're going to go here, week. Okay, and I'm going to abbreviate this. Okay, numeric, oh no, numeric, first letter. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, da, da, da. All right, and let's align everything. Okay. So let's make it fit with. So you can see this is basically a calendar, super simple to make. And <clears throat> one thing you can do is simple heat map. So let's say I want to see the profit for any given point, but I don't want the numbers. I just want the color. So that's one way to do it. And that's all well and good, right? I tend to use a color like red and black, I'm trying to signify whether, you know, a low value is bad or a high value is bad. So let's say apply. And it helps me really see those points because gray I think something to do with the human eye we don't really notice gray as much it's not as pronounced I think we're most sensitive to like I think green red something like that right so you can really see these kind of hot spots and that's great another way you can approach this is instead of tiles right you can make these circles all right so I can go in here circle right and we can introduce another element size right so I can go size and go Make that larger. Now the differences between the sizes aren't. Oh, there you go, there you go. Did it exactly as, as I thought maybe it would have done it. So let's swap this around. Let's say a high value is bad, right? So you can see that. Okay, look, we're seeing something with a high spot. So what we can do is we can actually go in here, go advanced, and instead of the center being at zero for this particular data, let's say it's going to be like ten thousand. Let's apply, see what happens. All right, so let's say 10,000 is our, you know, that's bad, right? We can come in here and you'll see, oh, wow, two red spots. What is going on over here? So it's a pretty good way to do like a traffic light system, a slight variation. And because you're doing shapes, you can actually do all kinds of shapes. You can go in here, switch it to shape here, right? We're going to swap it to... Um, in this case, actually, what we'll do is, because we set a limit to 10,000, we can actually imp uh, input that. So let's say 10,000 check. So if that, the sum of profit, is greater than or equal to 10,000, go OK. Right? We can change the shape. So we can go in here. So true or false. And we can do, again, another dimension for what we can look at. So let's say we do... Uh, you can actually do custom ones in here. Um, let's pick, let's just do a simple KPI one. So let's say every time it's um, good, it's going to be just a simple uh, green or maybe black. Ah, green, right? And then this one can be that. All right, so you can see it's very pronounced. We can really see it. Right, so it's again, this is a simple video, just a quick variation on something that you're probably already doing to give you some more ideas. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.